Hey, how's it going? So, uh, here I am hanging out at Selkirk Park right now. And uh, I want to talk about free will, man. Free will. Like, it's, it's a blessing and a curse, free will is. And, like, for example, I can use my free will to sit right here. Or I can move to those bleachers. I'm, I'm going to move to those bleachers. See, I'm going to use my free will to go walk to these bleachers. And then, like, you know, hang out with you for a bit here. So, tonight, like, there's, like, a good chance that my girlfriend is cheating on me. And, like, I'm starting to become okay with that because that's her free will. You know, like, I get to cheat on her in the long run, too. But... She chooses her free will in order to do that. Like, I'm using my free will to sit here right now, have an adventure outside. And that's what I'm doing right now. Like, this is my adventure right now. I come out here for walks to find myself. And, like, I've already found myself, but it helps me think and clear my head a bit more. And I just wanted to talk to you about free will. You know, like, if you're feeling anything about a relationship right now, like, especially if you're feeling upset about a relationship... Just want you to know, man, hang in there, and another person's free will doesn't matter towards your free will. You know what I mean? Like, even if you're in a relationship together with somebody else, and you're, like, depending on that person to use their free will to be 100% faithful and loyal to you, like, it's really up to that person. And, like, I'm with Sydney right now. Like, that's my girlfriend, and we're, like, back together. And it's like... We made love earlier today and then, you know, in the afternoon. And now I'm just like, there's a good chance that she's cheating on me right now, but that's who she is as a person. And like, you know what I mean? Like maybe she'll settle down one day, but at the same time, like it almost doesn't matter to me anymore because I realized like ever since Barbara, like Barbara promised me that we'll always be a family, right? Like, but she used her free will to do a complete 180 and then drop our family from existence, right? So like we can be a family today, but she uses her free will to make that not so. So, you know what I mean? I'm starting to become more okay with everything, the way things are, like the way people choose to live their lives and stuff like that is up to them, right? Like, like I love Barbara so fucking much. That's my baby mother. And I'll always be my baby mother and I'll always love her. And we can always be a family, but it'll always be up to her free will whether or not we're together. Like, free will is truly a blessing and a curse. Yeah, free will is a curse because, like, you know what I mean? Like, I should be able to trust Sydney to be loyal to me, but she has cheated on me so many times in the past that right now she's literally probably cheating on me right now. And that's her free will to do so. You know what I mean? Like, but we're still going to be together. I just got to wait a couple of days in order for to the, you know, her body to naturally wash the other person out of her, which is, you know, it's, it's a bit unfair to me, but like, that's the way life is. Like, I want a love. I want a good life. You know, like, that's what I want. But it's, you know, like, a loving, in, like, love depends on another person. It depends on another person's free will. Like, she chooses to pretend to love me, <laughs> even though I, I don't think she has any real feelings, like, for anybody or anything except for her own needs, right? But it's like, but she chooses to, like, tell me that she loves me and stuff like that. And that, that keeps me around because, like, that's what I love. I love being loved. I love the fact that a woman tells me that she loves me every night. And, you know, like, I do my best to trust her. But at the same time, I also trust that she'll be who she is as a person and who she's always been to me. And that's the cheater that she is. And she literally, she'll go out and drink and then have sex with other people. And then she'll lie about it. Like literally like that Raimi thing. Like for example, like she already told me that she fucked Raimi. Right. And she's trying to be like, Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. And she's like, um, and I keep telling her like, quit treating me like a fucking asshole. You already told me that you cheated. Quit trying to fucking take it back and may Raimi kill himself. Right. Like, <laughs> but it's like, that's her free will to be a cheater like that. It's her free will to be that way. And like, like, and it's truly a blessing and a curse. Like my free will, my free will is to love Barbara forever. My free will is to love Roxanne forever. My free will is to love Sydney forever. That's what I choose with my life because they're my baby mothers. And that will never change. They'll always be my baby mothers. And like, no matter what, right? Like, it's just, just that's the way it goes. And I got their back on that level. Like, the loyalty I give Barbara today 
even though it goes unreciprocated, like I still give her that loyalty. Like she has the option to use her free will to be with me and we can be a family together right now. But that's, again, it's up to free will, right? And that's part of the curse of free will. Like the curse of free will is that Sydney uses her free will to cheat. The curse of free will is that Roxanne, you know, uses her free will to cheat. Like she told me that she cheated times before too. Like, and the curse of free will is that Barbara said that we'll always be a family together. Like she used her free will to start a family with me, but she also used her free will to abandon the family that she started with me. So that's the curse of free will. But the blessings of free will are like... You know, like she chooses to be there for Drayton as much as possible. Like, even though I'm telling her, like, hey, Barb, can I see my son? Can I see my baby boy? Like, she'll choose to ignore me and she'll choose to not let me see my son. And then she'll choose to tell everybody that, you know, like I'm a bad father and stuff like that, which is the curse of free will. But the, the blessing of that free will is that she chooses to be a mother who's there for Drayton. And like, because her mother wasn't there for her, she really takes that self-righteous angle. Like I'm a single parent and I'm the one and only, I'm the best and stuff like that. Like, and like, we can be a family together today, but she chooses her free will to be that single parent who goes from stepfather to stepfather, which kind of like disrupts my son's emotion support but that's her free will upon her own life and I'm out of control of that I'm not in control of her free will so like I accept that to a certain degree like I, it's it hurts to the point where it's like oh it's unacceptable God but at the same time like I accept it because like I'm logical and I'm decisive in terms of what my life is and who I want in my life and how people treat me and she treats me like I'm expendable like if I died today would Barbara give a shit no that's her choice though that's her choice upon my life if i died today would roxanne give a shit no if i died today would sydney give a shit she would act like she gives a shit but the fact that she cheats on me is proof that she doesn't give a shit in fact i think all of my baby mothers to a certain degree would almost like it if i keeled over and died right now just so that they'd have like an extra feel sorry for me story compared with like uh, extra like oh I had a baby daddy who loved me with all of his heart and then he fucking died you know what I mean <laughs> like that's the kind of story and shit that they would love to have and tell people you know like and that's part of their free will and like what I want to express to you in this video is that the free will of other people should never be what gets us down anymore you know what I mean like I don't care what age you are, if you're watching this, like if you're my son, you're watching this and you're five years old, right? Like the free will of other people, my boy, should not affect your happiness and your individual goals and what you want to do with your life. If you're like my younger brother, Zach, you know, like I think he's like 13 now or 12 or 12 or 13 or something like that. Like if you're watching this right now, like I always tell you this, my little brother, who's in control of you? And then I tell you, you're in control of you. Nobody else is in control of you. And that's another thing about free will my little brother like you're in control of your life and when you meet a girl who tells you that she loves you with all her heart and like she uses her free will to do a complete 180 the way like history repeats itself like my life was like that and like in a way you'll have girlfriends that come and go like when you find that girlfriend who comes and then goes don't be so down on her that it hurts you you know what I mean like really just like understand that people have their free will and they choose to come and go in our lives as they please you know what i mean like it's sydney's choice right now to be out getting drunk and hammered up that's her ch life choice that's what she loves to do she loves to get liquored up and then she loves to have sex with other people and then be like oh i was drunk i was drunk um it wasn't all me who cheated i was drunk if i wasn't drunk i wouldn't have cheated but it's like that's what she loves to do as a person and like to a certain degree because I choose to love her I'm not going to hold that against her anymore like same with like Barbara like I'm not really gonna hold it against her the fact that she abandoned our family anymore like I'll still talk about it I'm still like a little bit bitter about it but at the same time it's like her choice to abandon our family is from the curse of her free will and like the blessing of our free will was to choose to start a family together and we did that I gave her the family that she wanted and we have a family right now and we can be a family together right so it's like but at any age you are like my little bro Tyson he's like in his 20s like like I love you little bro you you have like the 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 strongest head on your shoulders as out of all of us as far as I can tell anyway so far <laughs> and like 
You know what I mean? Like, you're amazing, my little brother. I fucking love you. You're, you're a great brother. And, like, to, you know, like, to all of my sisters, I love every one of my sisters with all of my heart. I'll protect you with all of my heart. That's what I choose. That's what my free will tells me. You know, like, like you're all so fucking awesome. And I just, if any of you ever come across this video, I just want you all to know that, like, don't ever let somebody else's free will fuck your head up that's not what's supposed to happen you know like we are human beings having this human experience and the truth of, of it is like people are going to choose to love you and then choose to give up on you and people are going to choose to be your best friend for a while and then people are going to choose to be somebody else's best friend for a while people are going to choose to cheat on you that's just sort of a fact of life to a certain degree like if you have a number of relationships eventually you're going to get cheated on <laughs> because that's how people are raised to a certain degree like sydney was raised that way because of certain things that happened to her, her life you know what i mean like i won't delve into that right now let's talk about free will though like like i use my free will to make music that's what i'm here to do and like what you got to do is like search inside of yourself. What do you want to use your free will for? Like if you're perfectly able and capable right now, that's a blessing, right? That's a fucking blessing. It's a blessing to be like in control of your arms and body, your legs and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's a blessing to be like a fully healthy person. Like, like I mean, if, you, um, if you're unhealthy and you know, nothing against you or anything like that, you know what I mean? Like, uh, like use your free will too. Yeah, use your free will too. Like if you're like confined to a wheelchair or stuff like that, I'm sorry about that like that's uh, that's like out of my control that's out of your control to a certain extent too right like it's just like but like use your free will to do something with your life before it's over and i choose music that's what that's my first choice my second choice is like movies and stuff like that and the reason i choose music first is because movies require more than myself music i can just make music myself and then i can keep making music myself i don't really need to use anybody else in terms of like you know like that whole altruism like like a band requires complete altruism like hey if you do the rhythm section for me i'll do the lead section for you and i'll sing for you all that stuff like a band requires like true altruistic friendship in terms of like the unity of music right so like as far as my life goes though like i'm a so singer songwriter and that's what i choose for my life right so like that's a blessing of my free will that i can choose that and what I want to share with you before I end this video is though, like, ultimately, we cannot let the free will of other people define how we feel about ourselves. You know what I mean? Like, I know that sounds really after school special, <laughs> but it's like, we cannot allow somebody who cheats, who chooses to cheat on us, we cannot allow ourselves to feel like tears anymore like I used to cry and stuff like that when Sydney would cheat on me and stuff like that because like I love her that much I just want her to be faithful to me I want her to use her free will and to be loyal to me but that's not who she is as a person she's too free-spirited to do that she's too you know like the word promiscuous comes to mind when it comes to my baby mama's no offense but you know I mean like our, our families can be together right now so that word promiscuous comes up <laughs> but like like ultimately though we cannot allow the free will of other people to affect our lives and our well-being anymore, especially like our, our mental well-being, our emotional well-being, our physical well-being, which is all affected by our mental and our emotional well-being as well. Like if you feel shit, shitty all the time, so it's like, uh, if you feel down all the time, you know, that's what's good. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.